Okay, so it's a really interesting one today. We're out in Oman with Audi. You might see the project manager behind me in the car. Hopefully he's out of shot, but if you see him creeping in every now and again, he has to be here because we're driving a prototype of the S3, the new S3. And it's a really interesting car for me because, oh, that was a speed bump, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> I've just crashed his car into a speed bumper at, at high speed and he's already said we're going to prison if we break the speed limit too much as well so anyway so he's in the back seat and this is a really interesting car for me because I've run an RS3 for car for six months I really liked that car I found it really exciting and, and grippy and, and responsive um, and then I borrowed the S3 that we also had in and I like that a lot less I found it quite bland and not exciting enough so Audi has been through this car the engineers have been through this car and they've just tried to spice everything up at, at, at a holistic level rather than single little things they've gone through everything so for instance the engine there's more power and more response so it's gone up to 333 PS so about 325 brake horsepower um, we've got more geometry on the front so more negative camber um, pivot bearings, um, uprated pivot bearings in the front axle um, just to make it turn and, and, and key into the surface in, in, a, in a sharper way. Suspension's been, been gone through and we've got bigger brakes as well, so up from 17 to 18 inches. But crucially, we've got the torque splitter that debuted on the RS3. That's two clutch packs either side of the rear differential, so it can channel torque up to 100% on the axle, one side or the other. So that's that's huge because you can really power on so when you're turning into a corner like a left hander like this for instance you can power on on the right axle and you know driving this car we've just been up a series of very twisty um, roads and and it's a huge difference so we've got a new dynamic plus setting that brings that torque splitter into play and makes it kind of do its maximum work so I've played around with the different settings and it really keys the car into the corner so it, it bites nicely it's got that response and the power and then you, and then you power on and and it just pushes the car through the corner and really agile really dynamic still grippy in in the sort of audi way but much more kind of dynamic in, in the sort of way we've been used to with the rs3 so a really promising package of upgrades a big difference from the old car it's, it's sometimes when you drive a car a, a long distance away from from the other one you know it's been maybe a year since I drove the s3 you forget about it but but it's very clear to me that this this car is a big step up it's a lot more enjoyable to drive so I would say mission accomplished so far so let's see what the production cars like but but certainly on this evidence it bodes really well